So picking up from where we left off in the last video, what we would do now is uh, structure the schematic according to the various different modules which we want to create. And this is something that you should replicate in your work as well as it makes the creation of that hierarchical block page pretty easy and also is uh, easy to modularize the entire design. So as we see we already have sort of like a folder structure here that the folder name is schematic one and then under that we have a page one. What we would do is we would create a folder and underneath that a schematic page for each one of the modules in our design. So as I talked about in video one, the modules that we have in this particular design would be the uh, clock generation IC module, the output connector module and the external oscillator connection module. So there would be three different modules. So let us create those accordingly. So the way that we do that is since this sample project DSN is the topmost thing in this particular tree structure here, we right click on that one and then we create a new schematic. And what we name this schematic is let's say the clock IC then we create another one which is called a output block and then we create another one which is called the oscillator. So those would be my three modules and within each of these we would create a new page. So let's name the page as uh, so this particular clock I see is uh, 8284. So we let's just name it 8284 circuit. Then the oscillator is the one that you guys are using in your project. It is called the ECS 2200. So let us name it as ECS 2200 circuit. And then the output block, let's just name it as output circuit. These names are completely up to you, so doesn't really uh, change anything if you name it differently, but then that's what we do at the beginning. And then notice here that against the first folder that was created, there is a slash sign which you see here. So whichever folder has this slash sign is called the root of this particular tree. And within that root, what, whatever page we have, we would change that to be named as the hierarchical page. Or rather, let's say hierarchical block diagram. So that, let's name the page as that. So that is it. What we would now do is we would go into each one of these pages and then create the corresponding circuit and then see how they get interconnected with each other. So that's what we would we would start off with the output block as since that that's the easiest one of now and that would be the topic of our next video.